Hello everyone, Jim here from Remick Museum and Farm, and it's another hot day here on the farm. Uh, probably about 86 or 87 degrees, and boy, it is good to sit down and take a little break in the shade up here at the gazebo, get some water, and you know, just cool down for a little bit. And since I thought, hey, I'm pretty hot, I bet you our animals are too. So I took a tour around the farm to see what our animals do to keep cool during these hot summer temps and some of the things that we do on the farm to help them stay cool as well. So let's go explore the farm. First up are some of our more heat tolerant animals. So first up the Nubian goats. Uh, they've got those big floppy ears that help keep them cool by regulating their body temperatures. Uh, they're still certainly finding shade and taking it easy when it's hot and humid like it has been. And surprisingly, the sheep, their wool actually is a good regulator of their body temperature as well. So they want to have about an inch or so of thickness, um, and that helps keep them cool during the hot summer temperatures. And also keeps the sun off or sunburn. But they're also going to want to find that shade and have their water right there in the shade to keep cool during these hot temps as well. Now, a lot of our other animals are very impacted by the heat. And a lot of that has to do with them being adapted for cold weather, especially up here in Northern New England climates. And so we wanna make sure they have plenty of shade. You can see the cows here really enjoying this, uh, the big shady maple. And it's really important to have shade for all of our animals. And along with that really good fresh water and those are just vital things for these summer months. And we also want to keep an eye on them for overheating, and they have a lot more subtle symptoms uh, than other animals. So you can think about a dog, they really start panting, uh, but cows and other livestock often are very more subtle. And so you have to kind of uh, know those symptoms, but also just have shade and water so we don't have to worry about it. Fortunately, on this hot and humid day, we did have some cloud cover, so that gave the chickens a little bit of an opportunity to go out and find some seeds and insects and things out in the in their pasture. But you can see as soon as this sun comes out again, it is off to find the shade. And again, having shade available for the chickens, both in the coop and the roof of their coop here, uh, and then fresh water that's constantly available is super important for uh, maintaining their health and keeping them well. Speaking of shade, Minnie's got plenty of it in her very breezy uh, hutch and afternoon hot temps mean an afternoon nap. Goat kids are often lounging about in the cool and breezy museum barn, but they certainly like to come out and grab some hay, uh, see what's going on, welcome some visitors, and then sneak back in. And on this particular day, over by their water, something really had caught their attention, so I went to go see what was going on, and unfortunately someone else was trying to get cool and fell into their water. So I decided it was time for Operation Chipmunk Rescue, so I went and found a long stick in the hopes that it would be able to climb up out of the water and I wouldn't have to try and grab it because I didn't want to get bit. But right as I was about to, that uh, fortunately a chipmunk was able to climb on out and that meant it was time to get the goats some fresh water. Speaking of fresh water, uh, we want to make sure that all of our animals are constantly getting it. And this is over at the museum paddock. Not really a lot of shade there, so I like to keep filling up uh, this water with cool water to keep it uh, from being too hot. And just as really important, keep making sure that they have plenty of cool water all day. And for the dairy herd to be leaving their shade and water means it must be milking time and the milking snacks that they get. Often younger animals can be more susceptible to heat, just kind of like in humans as well. Uh, so Amity and Pippa and MJ are enjoying their cool area with plenty of water.
And last up on the tour are over to the pigs. And this, uh, these piglets, often when I come up, they think it's food time. So I tried to sneak up on them as slowly as I could so that I could see what they're doing to keep cool during this hot day. And you can see a few of them are, well, most of them are gathered around their, their water, which they can control the flow with a little spigot. And the other piglets are looking like they're wallowing in their, their mud. Since pigs don't have nearly the sweat glands that humans and other animals do, they need uh, this wallowing to help keep them cool, especially on these hot and humid days. So having a, a wallow pit, which we keep filling with water constantly, so it's always got uh, water and mud there so they can lay and roll around and keep cool and cover themselves with mud. And also having lots of fresh available water that they can drink and sometimes turn into their own wallowing pit. Uh, super crucial is for all of our animals having fresh cool water is one of the most important things you can see this was my first attempt to try and uh, sneak up on them and see what they were up to and they really just thought it was food time and well I didn't have anything for them All right, everyone, Whew. after that long, hot walk, I decided to come right back up here to Gazebo and take another little break in the shade. And hopefully you enjoyed taking a tour around the farm with me to see how our animals are keeping cool as well. And I hope you're keeping cool this summer too. Uh, again, if you're liking what you're seeing, make sure you give us a like and subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're following along on face Facebook, you can give us a like and share with your friends as well. And hope everyone is doing well and staying, staying cool. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.